What's up, nature lovers? Today I'm reviewing Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. And let me tell you, this book is the sweetest braid you will ever experience. So at first glance, you might think this book is just about plants and nature, but it's so much more than that. Kimmerer weaves together science, spirituality, and personal stories to create a tapestry of knowledge and wisdom that's both beautiful and practical. One of the things that I loved about this book is how Kimmerer approaches plants, not just as objects to be studied, but as living beings with their own stories and wisdom. She shares indigenous teachings about the relationships between plants, animals, and humans and urges that we have a responsibility to listen to and learn from the natural world. It's a message that's especially important in our current climate crisis. But don't worry, this book isn't all serious. Kimmel also shares more delightful anecdotes about her own experiences with plants, from the time she learned how to make baskets from sweetgrass uh, to the time she accidentally ate poison ivy. She has a way of making even the most complex scientific concepts accessible and entertaining. And let's talk about the writing itself. Kimmer is a poet as well as a scientist, and her prose is both lyrical and grounded. She has a way of describing the natural world that's so vivid, you can practically smell the flowers and feel the breeze on your skin. But what I really loved most about this book is how Kimmer inspires us to take action. She doesn't just share knowledge for the sake of knowledge. She wants us to use that knowledge to make a difference in the world. She encourages readers to find ways to give back to the land and to honor the plants and animals that sustain us. It's a call to action that's both urgent and hopeful. I also appreciate how Kimmer addresses the complicated relationship between indigenous peoples and the Western scientific um, establishment. She acknowledges the harm that has been done in the past, but also offers a vision for how we can move forward in a way that's respectful and collaborative. It's a message for, of reconciliation that's sorely needed in our world. One final thing that I want to mention is how this book challenged my own perceptions of the natural world. As someone who grew up in a Western culture that often views nature as a resource to be exploited, reading Braiding uh, Sweetgrass was a wake-up call. Kimmerer's words helped me see the world in a different way and made me more committed to doing my part to protect my, the planet. So, in conclusion, Braiding Sweetgrass is a book that will t touch your heart, expand your mind, and inspire you to take action. It's a must read for anyone who loves nature, science, or simply good writing. So if you're ready to braid yourself a seed grass crown and uh, connect with the natural world in a deeper, different way or deeper, deeper way, pick up a copy of this book and prepare to be enchanted. <laughs> so that's the book review that I have for braiding sweet grass by Kimmer and... Yeah, if you like this book review, please hit the like button and let me know in the book uh, comments which book review you want next and I'll try my best to provide a book review for you. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel because it's always great to have new book lovers here. And if you have already subscribed, welcome and thank you very much for coming again. You are the best. I love you. And uh, yeah, that's it for today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.